And in my home state of Washington, there are over half a million small businesses. They comprise 98% of all businesses and employ nearly 1.3 million workers, more than half of the state's private sector workforce. Helping small businesses thrive is an important way to grow our economy across the country. From the businesses that I've met with, I've heard repeatedly how important health coverage is to recruiting and retaining great employees. Whether it's Brambleberry in Bellingham or Frost Donuts in Mill Creek, they all want to provide quality coverage, but often find it's too expensive, too complicated, or there are too few options that are available to them. In fact, according to the small business majority, 70% of small business owners who don't offer health insurance to their workers say it's because they can't afford to do so. These business owners just want a little bit of help. And the Affordable Care Act took an important step in addressing this problem. It created a tax credit to help small businesses afford the cost of health coverage for their workers and their families. Unfortunately, the ACA small business tax credit isn't working as well as it was intended. Too many businesses are either ineligible for the credit or discouraged by the complexity of its requirements. In 2012, the Government Accountability Office found that only 170,000 small employers had claimed the credit a fraction of the up to 4 million businesses that were estimated to be eligible by federal agencies and small business organizations. To, to help small businesses compete and grow, Congress should make the tax credit more accessible to employers and available for a longer period of time. That's precisely what my legislation would do. Among other changes, the Small Business Tax Credit Accessibility Act would raise the maximum size of business, businesses that are eligible for the credit from 25 to 50 employees. It would increase the number of years for which a small business can receive the credit from two to three consecutive years and eliminate eligibility requirements that are unnecessarily complex and discourage businesses from claiming the credit. This proposal will go a long way towards ensuring that more small businesses can provide health coverage to their workers while continuing to compete and grow in a still fragile economy. I'm grateful to have been able to partner with Congressman Kind on this effort, along with Senators Kuhn and Merkley, who've introduced companion legislation in the Senate. It enjoys broad support among industry, small businesses, and healthcare organizations, including the National Association of Health Underwriters, the National Grocers Association, the National Retail Federation, Third Way, and Small Business Majority. I urge members of this subcommittee to support it. Members of Congress have a responsibility to be good stewards of public policy by keeping our laws updated and making adjustments when necessary to ensure that they work in the real world. This is a common sense bill that will offer meaningful help to entrepreneurs and workers across the country. And I look forward to working with members of the committee from both sides of the aisle to move it forward. Thank you so much for the time and I yield back.